began to fall out of the dream that rose in the happy throng. No, to our hearts, love sang an old sweet song. How can I help you, young man? Oh, yes. I want my photograph taken. Of course. Who on earth comes to photo studio to fit their dentures? Sit there and wait. Come in. Well, I'm gonna get my photograph. Well, I'm gonna get my photograph. And I'm gonna look so good. Sit and down. I'm gonna look so good. I'm gonna, gonna. Look so Don't move! I thought you were finishing up your prayer there. <laughs> That's not funny. Taking a photograph requires much skill and creativity. Allow me to show some. Maybe I should smile or maybe not. Maybe I should smile or maybe not. Cause I'm gonna look so good. Cause I'm gonna look so good. The face is quite wrong. I know it, and I always know it. I think the face would be better three quarters full. I'm sure it would, and so would yours. Though the face is small, narrow, or solid, it looks good when you frame it to three quarters. I still don't like the head. Open the mouth a little. No, no, close a little. The ears are bad. Droop them a little more. Now the eyes. Lower your chin. Look up with your eyes, extend your jaw, now smile a little. That's better. Now expand your lungs, contract the waist, twist the hip up, now twist your elbow. I tried my best, but the face still looks a little weird. Stop! This face is my face. It's not yours. It's mine. I've lived with it for 40 years. I know it's a bit out of drawing. I know it's not made for me, but still, it's my face, the only one I have. I have learned to love it, and this mouth is mine, not yours. These ears are mine, and if your machine is too narrow... I think I cut the features just at a perfect time. So? Features, huh? Can I see the picture? No, I have to develop the negative first. Uh, come back on Saturday. I will show you the proof of my art. Saturday. Okay. I will see you then. Here it is.
Is it me? Yes, it is you. The eyes don't look pretty much like mine. I, I retouched them. It looks splendid, doesn't it? Okay, but the eyebrows, I'm sure my eyebrows don't look like that. Eyebrows are removed. We have a, we have a process called the Delphide. If you can notice here, the hair was removed. And not many photo studios have this facility. But why? I don't like the hair low on the skull. Oh, you don't, don't you? No, I don't care. I like to get the hair off and make a new brow line. What about the mouth? Is the mouth mine? I adjusted a little. Yours is too low and found I couldn't use it. The ears, though, strike me as a good likeness. They're just like mine. Yes, that's so, but I can fix them right on the print. We have a process called the sulfide. I will try my best if I can do that for you. Listen, I came here for a photograph, a picture, something which could have looked like me, though it's bad. I wanted something which depicts my face as likely as heaven gave it to me. I wanted something that my friends could keep after my death to reconcile them to my loss. It seems I was mistaken. Go on then, with your brutal work. Take your negative, whatever you call it, dip it in bromide, sulfide, oxide, cowhide, whatever you like. Remove the eyes, retouch the lips, reanimate the necktie, reconstruct the waistcoat, recoat it with an inch of gloss, blur it, emboss it, build it, do anything you like till even you acknowledge that it is finished. And when you've done all that, you can keep it for you and your friends, or frame it and hang it on your studio as proof of your art. To me, it's a worthless piece of bubble.